Frigates are workhorses of modern navies. They are versatile warships able to serve many different missions across a wide range of environments. Most possesses the weapons to engage surface, air, and underwater targets. Although some frigates specialize in fighting a specific type of opponent, frigates have been around for a long time, but its capabilities and missions have evolved rapidly over the last twenty years. As navies around the world sought to bolster their combat potential at affordable cost, this video reviews the top eleven most powerful frigates in the world. Number eleven, Saxon class. The Saxon class of the German Navy specializes in anti-air warfare. They were built in the early 2000s in an effort to maintain German naval capabilities following the end of the Cold War and the unification of Germany in 1990. The Saxon class displaces 5,800 tons at full load, with a top speed of 29 knots and a crew of 243. She has enhanced stealth design intended for deceiving enemy radar and acoustic sensors. She is well armed with 32 Mark 41 VLS launchers, carrying the SM2 area air defense missiles and the evolved Sea Sparrow missiles in quad packs. She has two rolling airframe missile launchers for close range air defense. She has an advanced active phased array radar and the Smart L long range radar, which are purported to be able to detect stealth aircraft and stealth missiles. For anti-surface warfare, the Saxon has eight Harpoon anti-ship missiles and two quad launchers. Number ten, Type O fifty four A. The Type O fifty four A forms the backbone of the Chinese Navy's frigates force. They are designed for medium-range air defense and anti-submarine warfare. They displace around 4,000 tons at full load, with a top speed of 27 knots and a crew of 165. The Type O 54A is the first truly stealthy frigate designed in China. She has 32 HAJK-16 VLS launchers. Carrying the HHQ-16 series of area air defense missiles, compared to the German Saxon, the air warfare capability of the O-54A is probably not at the same level as the German ship has more powerful missiles. But the O-54A has a more complete set of sonars for anti-submarine warfare, making the O-54A more versatile. She has a towed array and a variable depth sonar for detecting underwater threat. For armaments, she has anti-submarine missiles, onboard torpedoes, and one helicopter. For anti-surface warfare, she has eight YJ-83 subsonic anti-ship missiles. And the Pakistan variant, the Tugru class, has the far more dangerous YJ-12 supersonic missile. Number nine, Mogami class. Japan built the Mogami class for anti-submarine warfare to fill the gaps in place of the aging Asagiri class destroyer and Abu Kuma class destroyer escort. The Mogami displaces 5,500 tons at full load, with a top speed of over 30 knots and a crew of 90. She is a very stealthy frigate. By virtue of her stealthy mast that houses her radar and other electronic systems, and the compact hull design, for anti-submarine warfare, the Mogami has a strong suite of sonars, including a towed array and a variable depth sonar. She is well armed with torpedoes and anti-submarine missiles, and carries a single SH-60L Seahawk helicopter to prosecute underwater targets. For air defense, she is lightly armed with 16 Mark 41 VLS, equipped with medium-range surface-to-air missiles. Because the Mogami is not an air warfare ship. She only has an X-band radar optimized for self-defense at close range. Number eight, Frame. 
The frame stands for European Multipurpose Frigate in French and currently serves in the French, Italian, Egyptian and Moroccan navies. The frame design can be tailored towards specialized roles, some in anti-air warfare and others towards anti-submarine purposes. The frame displaces between 6,000 to 6,700 tons, depending on the design, with a top speed of between 27 and above 30 knots, and a crew of between 145 and 200. Most of the frame carries a 16-cell VLS launcher for the Aster-15 medium-range SAM and the Aster-30 long-range SAM, although some of the ships can only use the Aster-15. The French air warfare version has a 32-cell VLS. Most of the ship carry an additional 16-cell launcher for anti-surface missiles. The French vessels come with a single ASW helicopter, while the Italian ships have the space for two helicopters. Number 7. Admiral Gogorovich class. The Projet 1356R Admiral Gogorovich class is built for the Russian and Indian navies. They serve in the Russian Black Sea Fleet, headquartered in Sevastopol, Crimea. They were built as an interim solution for the urgent need for new frigates before the more capable Admiral Gorshkov class can be produced in sufficient numbers. The Admiral Gogorovich class is multi-purpose, but weighted more towards anti-ship and land attack capabilities. She displaces around 4,000 tons with a top speed of 30 knots and a crew of 200. She has 24 VLS launchers for the 3S-90M air defense system for medium-range area air defense. However, it is anti-ship capability that stands out. The Admiral Gogorovich has 8 universal UKSK VLS launchers to fire the Caliber and Onyx cruise missiles. These are some of the most dangerous supersonic anti-ship weapons and land attack versions are also available. In the future, the class may use the Zircon hypersonic missile. Number 6. The Zevin Provincian class. The Zevin Provincian is a class of highly advanced anti-air frigates in the Dutch Navy. Like many European frigates, they are practically similar to destroyers, but are designated as frigates. They displace around 6,000 tons fully loaded, with a top speed of 30 knots and a complement of 232. Like the German Sachsen class, the Zevin Provincian has a multi-function active phased array radar and the long-range Smart L radar to look for stealthy aircraft and missiles. There is a 40-cell Mark 41 VLS, which carries the SM-2 SAM for area air defense, and the evolved Sea Sparrow SAM for medium-range air defense inside quad packs. In addition, there are eight Harpoon cruise missiles for anti-shipping purpose. Number 5. Nilgiri Class the Nogiri class Project 17 Alpha are stealth frigates currently built for the Indian Navy. They strike a balance across a wide range of capabilities. They displace 6,670 tons with a top speed of 28 knots and a crew of 226. Like many other Indian warships, the Nilgiri is armed with the Barrack 8 air defense missiles arranged in a 32-cell VLS. They are active radar-guided and effective in the medium range. There is a larger VLS of 8 cells to carry the well-known BrahMos anti-ship missiles, a supersonic weapon based on the Russian P-800 Onyx and more dangerous than the anti-ship weapons on most western warships. For anti-submarine warfare, the Nilgiri class, like elder Indian warships, relies on heavyweight torpedo tubes carrying the domestic Varunastra heavy torpedo. Heavy torpedoes have the advantage of longer range 
and obviously a larger payload compared to the typical light torpedoes on most warships. The Nilgiri class carries two anti-submarine helicopters. Number four, Ivor Hutzfeld class. The Ivor Hutzfeld is a class of large frigates of the Royal Danish Navy, built primarily for anti-air warfare. They are based on the hull design of the previous Epsilon class frigates, which reduced their development cost. The Ivor Hutzfeld displaces 6,645 tons fully loaded, basically the same as a medium-sized destroyer. They can achieve a top speed of 30 knots, with a complement of 165, a fairly low number reflecting a high level of automation. The anti-air weapon includes the SM-2 area air defense SAM, the evolved Sea Sparrow missile, and the SM-6 long-range SAM. They are carried inside 32 to 56 VLS launches, depending on the number of additional Harpoon cruise missiles carried, which vary between 8 to 16. Number 3. Alvaro de Bazin class. The Spanish Alvaro de Bazin class air defense frigates are equipped with a miniaturized version of the Aegis combat system developed by the US company Lockheed Martin. The class displaces around 6,500 tons fully loaded, with a top speed of 28.5 knots and a complement of 250. The Alvaro de Bazin is one of the few warship classes outside the United States to use the Aegis combat system and the associated AN Spy 1D radar. This allows the ship to track hundreds of airborne targets simultaneously. To engage airborne targets, the ship uses the SM-2 area air defense missiles and the evolved Sea Sparrow missile. They are carried inside a Mark 41 VLS of 48 cells. In addition to anti-radar stealth, the class incorporates anti-vibration mounts for its power plants helping to reduce noise and acoustic signature to an extent. Number 2, Type 26. The Type 26 is a next-generation frigate being built for the UK Royal Navy, also known as the City Class, because all the units are named after UK cities. They partially replace the previous Type 23 Duke Class frigate. Currently, the Type 26 remains under construction, and the first vessel is expected to be commissioned only in 2026. They displace 8,000 tons full load, with an expected top speed exceeding 26 knots, and a complement of 157. The Type 26 is basically the size of a destroyer, with a similar level of firepower. She will have a large number of VLS launches carrying the naval version of the common anti-air modular missile, the Sea Scepter, which is already operational on the Type 23. Other weapons include future cruise missiles and anti-ship systems. The Type 26 will fulfill anti-submarine missions. To do this, it will have two helicopters armed with ASW torpedoes, Sonoboys, air-to-surface missiles, and anti-ship missiles. Number 1. Admiral Gorshkov class. The Admiral Gorshkov class Project 22350 is the most advanced frigate in the Russian Navy. The lead ship is named after Admiral Sergei Gorshkov of the Soviet Union, who built up the Red Fleet during the Cold War. They are multi-purpose frigates, although their most impressive capability lies in their anti-surface firepower, using a variety of cruise missiles. The Admiral Gorshkov displaces 5,400 tons fully loaded, with a top speed just below 30 knots and a crew of 210. In terms of air warfare, she has the Polymont Rejute air defense system with a range of 120 kilometers, served by 32 VLS launches. The ship's most dangerous assets are its anti-ship missiles, inside 16 to 32 universal VLS cells. 
They include the Caliber missile featuring a supersonic sprint in the terminal phase, and the Onyx supersonic missile. Most importantly, they can use the Zircon, a scramjet-powered hypersonic missile. It remains uncertain whether such weapons can be stopped reliably by existing naval defense systems. There you have it, the top 11 most powerful frigates in the world. As with all rankings, it is of course highly subjective. Do you agree with the list in this video? Let me know in the comments below. If you are interested in a YouTuber's opinion on the top 10 destroyers in the world as of right now, please check out this video on your screen right now.